is I think it's a beginning of a new era in our public transportation. Now what we have is very advanced factory operated buses for the first time in Nepal. Five electric buses were launched for the first time and that's public buses because we have seen private electric vehicles in Nepal for quite a few years and that is great as well. The road infrastructure is definitely one of them. I think the biggest challenge would be the institutional challenges, the mindset of the people, which we still see in the IC buses in the, the ordinary you know, internal combustion engine as the vehicle. Right? This is always seen as the alternative. Our aim is to mainstream this. Definitely electric. That's, uh, we are very confident about that. And the growth uh, recently has been quite uh, substantial compared to last few years. Private car is like uh, a huge growth from earlier. Uh, public transport, uh, there's definitely a future. Every uh, person that I interact, they always talk about charging time and, you know, but uh, as per our study, uh, usually people charge it just twice a week. quite encouraged by selling around 100 units for the last two years and uh, the concerns uh, of environment is very much growing. The fossil fuel are being discouraged all over the world so government has to think that way. We have hardly any other option rather than going on electric. beneficial for the, all the community, especially environment, everyone has a full charge in the city of 80-200 km in the city right now. Plus, there are moving parts in the city of 80 km 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 in the city of 80 km. तेल कर रहा है कि रिसे दबाई को रेगुलर मेंटेनेंस कॉस्ट हो रहा है आमदनी ना जनरल दबाई को जस्ट तो ब्रेक हो रही चेंज करने ऊपर ने अथवा कुने टूट फूट बॉय वाले चेंज करने ऊपर ने तो सुकुरा आ रहा है आमना सक्सा 